A bizarre move by the Minnesota Vikings as they have traded for Cam Akers, the Los Angeles Rams running back, in a bizarre trade that completely caught me off guard. My name is Patrick Seaman. Welcome in the Vikings Now by Chad Sports. We're going to be breaking down the entire Cam Akers trade on today's Minnesota Vikings YouTube video. Uh, listen, the trade is Cam Akers for a 2026 late round pick swap. We haven't got the exact details on it just yet. But this is a bizarre move, and I think it has a lot to do with Kevin O'Connell's connection with the Los Angeles Rams, which we're going to be breaking down in today's video. But guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, lock us in as your go-to Vikings YouTube channel. We're going to be live for the game about an hour before kickoff in a, you know, it's going to be a must-win game versus the Los Angeles Chargers this Sunday. I'm super excited for it. We're going to see new guys like Dalton Reisner. Cam Makers might be out there as well. So make sure you guys tune in. Hit that subscribe button. Prove my bosses wrong about this Vikings Now channel. And hit that sub button. And uh, I would really, really appreciate it. But let's break it down. The Vikings just traded for Cam Akers in shocking fashion. I can't believe this actually just went down right now. Um, listen, the Vikings run game this year has been piss poor. Like, we can all agree on that. The Vikings are the 32nd ranked rush team in the NFL so far during this season and I guess Kwesi Adolfo Mensa said we need to bring in a better running back to improve the run game I will say this a little bit of me is wondering what don't they see in Ty Chandler uh he was the first guy I thought about through this entire situation because Ty Chandler to me going into this offseason and going into the season he was one of the biggest hidden gems in the nfl any single time i watch him play football i think this guy is a top tier running back i think he has the chance to be a serviceable back in the nfl and i guess uh Kwesi doesn't agree with all that so the vikings are going to trade for cam Akers in this latest nfl trade listen cam Akers over the past couple of seasons i mean in this past year one game for the la rams he had 22 carries for 22 yards. The year before that, he had 188 carries for 786 yards for 4.2 yards per carry. Seven touchdowns on the year, had 13 receptions as well. Overall with Cam Akers, I think the biggest reason he is in Minnesota is because of that connection he has with Kevin O'Connell. You know, we've heard about the raving reviews that guys like McVay, Kevin O'Connell that they give to this running back. So I fully expect to be, or I fully expect Cam Akers to be a huge part of this offense, you know, moving forward. But I just don't really understand what the Vikings are doing here. Like, I'm just going to be fully transparent. Like, I get it. Like, the rushing game has not been good. I wouldn't attribute that to the running backs. Like, Madison, I think he's been fine. I'm not the biggest fan of Madison as a guy, you know, in terms of making a man miss or, like, you know, putting his foot in the ground and, you know, turning it upfield for 60 yards. Like, I don't think Madison has that breakaway speed. But, I mean, Cam Akers, like, it's not like he's going to change his Vikings run game. And I hope he proves me wrong. And I hope he sees this video and uses this as motivation. But I would have rather the Vikings turn to a guy like Ty Chandler. That's who I would have had the Vikings go towards. You know, invest in what you already have and give Ty Chandler the RB1 carries because he's the number one guy I'm thinking about in this entire situation is what is Ty Chandler thinking? Because throughout preseason, he impressed. Last year in limiting carries, he's impressed. And right now, we're going to bring in a guy like Cam Akers? Like, I just don't really understand this move. I understand it's for nothing. It's a 2026 late-round pick swap. I mean, listen, you could cut the guy. I just think the Vikings... They should look internally on how to fix this Vikings run game. But they, you know, they disagree with me. And they decided to bring in Cam Akers. But I want to get you guys involved on today's video. Grade the Cam Akers trade. A, B, C, D, or F. Back to school style. Get down in the comments. It's going to be a pinned comment on today's video. So if YouTube throws an ad break your way, sit back, let it play. Answer today's pinned comment of grading the Cam Akers trade to the Minnesota Vikings. A, B, C, D, or F. Overall, I'd probably give this about a C. Listen, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to improve their run game. The Vikings have been so pass-dependent so far this season. They want to even it out, have more of a 50-50 split. But I just don't know if Cam Akers is the answer. Like, I'm just going to be honest. Like, I feel like it would be a rather a guy like Ty Chandler. Like, anytime Ty, anytime Ty Chandler has gotten the ball this season, he's made a man miss. He's looked good in the run game. He's looked good in the pass game. Solid hands. And he hasn't really gotten his chance. But a guy like Cam Akers, like, listen, I understand he's a solid running back. Like, 
he has done his good deed in the NFL, and he's you know he's impressed. He's you know went on a playoff run with this Rams team. He's only 24 years old, so I get it. Maybe Sean McVay was throwing Kevin O'Connell a solid here, and I see or they see something that I don't in Cam Akers. But we're gonna have to wait and see because so far in his career, he's ran for 360 carries. 1,400 yards, 4 yards per carry with 10 touchdowns. He's been, uh, you know, just middle of the pack in terms of a running back. And I just don't really know what the Vikings are necessarily thinking here that Cam Akers is going to fix this Vikings run game. But at the end of the day, it's another weapon. It was a 2026 late round pick swap. So I'm not the biggest, uh, you know, it's not like you're giving up too much for the guy. But Vikings, they do end up trading for Cam Akers in this one. Just the number one thing I think about in this trade is Ty Chandler. Why hasn't he got his chance? And, uh, you know, clearly the Vikings coaching staff doesn't have a lot of faith in the running back room as it is. You know, you brought in Miles Gaskins during this offseason. You brought in, you know, obviously Dwayne McBride, who you drafted, eventually put him on the practice squad. But interesting moves here from the Minnesota Vikings. Don't know if I necessarily agree with all of them, but... You know, they're making moves. Uh, so hopefully this run game can get going against the Chargers this weekend. You know, I'm really hoping Dalton Reisner starts at right guard. Uh, Kevin O'Connell today was talking about it, that he thinks Reisner is going to be more of a rotational piece. Uh, I disagree with that. I think he should play right away, play over Ed Ingram. I guarantee you, day one, he will be a better football player than Ed Ingram is at that right guard spot. I would love for them to go Darisol, Ezra, Garrett Bradbury, then go Dalton Reisner, then Brian O'Neill to round out that offensive line. And then maybe they can get something going with Cam Akers in this run game. But overall, I just wish the Vikings want more running back by committee. Like, why not get Kene Wongu a touch? Why not get Ty Chandler more touches? Why not get, like, even Miles Gaskin more touches? Like, I just feel like they've been too reliant on Alexander Madison. And I get it. He's been in the organization for a couple years now. He's been waiting patiently behind Alvin Cook. But... Clearly, he hasn't gotten it done, and I think the Vikings need to move on, and maybe Cam Akers will be the future RB1 for this football team, but we're just going to have to wait and see. But that is the news of the day. The Vikings do trade for Cam Akers for a late-round, six-round pick. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the trade down in the comment section. And then also, we're going to be live for the game. Live for the game this Sunday. Los Angeles Chargers, U.S. Bank Stadium. 12 o'clock kickoff. We're going to be live at around 11 p.m. Central Time. So make sure you guys tune in. Hit that sub button. Lock us in as your go-to Minnesota Vikings YouTube channel. And as always, we will see you guys next time. Skull freaking Vikes, baby.